feel before your first conference? Kind of nervous. What committee are you in? I don't know. I only know it's that I'm debating. <laughs> yeah, Do you know your stuff? Do you know what you're doing? What are you doing here? I'm getting Miranda to get me something from here. Oh goodness. No, Maybe this shouldn't go on the main team. <laughs> Who are you representing? Representing. Ah, okay. <laughs> she knows who she's representing. Yeah, that's good. Matter how you look. I'm not that topic. Like, you have to take that picture of my sister. Bird. Alright. Hi. Hi. I'm Stephanie Smith. What country are you representing? I'm representing Georgia. In what committee? You know, I don't really know the committee, but it's for African borders. So, that's like my thing. So, how do you feel before your first time? I stayed up all night last night. I was so nervous. No. I don't want to look like an idiot in front of all the really smart people. Well, let's hope you don't fall asleep in the committee. That, that would be kind of bad. <laughs> yeah. Did you do that your first year? Nah. I stayed awake, barely. Did you even sleep? Probably like once or twice. I didn't go to Samuda though. I went to my first one was Plymouth. Alright. What's your name? <laughs> You're representing. I'm representing the topic of outer space. Cool. Did you do all your research? Do you know what you're doing? <laughs> Are you confident? No. <laughs> You'll do great. I probably won't even say it because I never really do say anything. You know, you're always waiting for that moment. You're like, oh, I got something really good, but then somebody's taking like forever. And then by the time they're done, you already forget what you're gonna say. So like, oh crap! Then you have to wait like another 20 minutes until something else good pops up. So. You know, what I find is a good tip if you. If you, while other people are speaking, you have a pad of paper in your folder, and you can write down all the points you have so you don't forget about them. Because things move really fast in committee, and you might lose your thoughts really quickly. Yeah, <laughs> Hi. Hi. Do you want to say who you're representing? I'm Alex. I'm on the school committee here at SPOL. I'm the outer space. And I'm representing Ireland. <laughs> yeah. So I'm here. Thank you, Stacy. Do you feel really prepared? <laughs> no. <Big one. laughs> Pretty much. Are you going to make some speeches today? Of course. Are you going to make at least one speech? At least one. Because we'll give that whole demonstration on how to make a speech. Yep, I got this. You probably throw one together. Well, can we have to like put your name on it? Oh, I'm studying right now? Like, uh -huh. <laughs> Who are you representing? I am representing Ireland on the position of genocide. What is it? You eat it. Are you going to make some speeches? Why is it grass? I don't know. I'm kind of open. Alright, I'm going to film them. <laughs> I'm going to film them. <laughs> it's a surprise in the middle. I don't want to And then you can go back and watch yourself later. Right yeah, you did. I'm going to keep this open. You guys are all going to look really scared up there, aren't you? Oh, she's recording So, what are you guys doing right now? Are you ready for your speech, Erica? As ready as I'll ever be. Sweet. Erica's not. That means she's not ready. Erica's really tall today. Can you wear your heels? That means she's not there. I don't want to write this down. Hi, hi. Hi. What's your name? Jennifer Hank. <laughs> Who are you representing today? I'm representing Ireland. In what committee? Um, the WHO Committee, World Health Organization. Cool. Are you going to make some speeches today? 
Um, I'm going to try to. <laughs> I just came a little bit underprepared. Megan running up there giving me some general information on Ireland. Because, you know, I'm left in the dark about everything. <laughs> but hey, it's my first uh, conference. So. Just get up there and do your thing. And, and I'll film it all so you can watch it later. <laughs> all right. <laughs> you got to make at least one speech so I can film it. I will try my best. So I, I will let you know. I'm counting on you. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Nicole Hoyka. Who are you representing today? I am representing France. In what committee? In the death penalty. Ah. Are you going to get up and make some speeches today that I can film? Um, no. Come on. No. You got to get up and speak at least once so I can film you. Once, but when you're not in the room. And then you can watch it and I'll show you how you did. No. Good morning. It's Good morning.
brings brings a light up.
being young and being in the legislature, when I would ask questions and challenge the way that things were being done, and too often, and this still happens to this day, um, the line that's given to me is that this is the way we've always done it. And that is frustrating for someone who's um, idealistic in respects, but to have a completely new idea or a new approach of trying to address something, um, shut down because this is the way it's always been done, um, is ludicrous. I think most of us agree with that. Um, sometimes it's a, sometimes no one's been willing to listen to me. Sometimes I'm just walking in the wall, so I, it seems like I'm speaking into to a void. Um, but then it comes that one person that is, and or that email that comes across weeks later that says, I heard you, and I agree with you. Um, or the one that comes that says, I can't believe you said that. What are, what are you thinking?
create programs for our elderly, and so far we have created one where we provide them with medical care, but it hasn't reached all the less developed portions of the country. We still have many issues that we need to cover, and as everyone knows, money is always an issue. Expectancy is about, life expectancy is about 67, but unfortunately this does not mean that they live comfortably. Many have diseases such as AIDS and HIV, and just general health problems, Alzheimer's and everything else. Um, I believe that we should create programs that bring information to the people because information is one of the greatest ways to fend off illness and everything else in between. We also need to prevent them from isolating themselves because once they isolate themselves, the more people, the uh, less wholesome people in society can pick them off with this treatment um, and also they abuse themselves when they're all on their own. And we are willing to accept help from other people financially, but we wish to have no strings attached because there's not much we can get in return. We will give what we can, but still. And Um, how do you propose that you get more programs to research and give information out? What sort of things are you looking for? Right? We are looking, we want to do this, but you need to have the money in order to do it because as everyone knows, money is going around. And we have that with that. So we're hoping to get financial aid from other countries in order to help better our society. Hi, um, well, as of right now, Pretty much every country has said that we need help to get the elderly more involved, better health care, and more programs to get the world knowing what we need. So we need to figure out how to get these things going. And I think that right now we need to discuss what sort of things that each country is going to do.
non registration of objects launched into outer space. Iraq representative said that the U.S. should stop watching Iraqi land. This convention said that Article 2, 1. When a space object is launched into Earth orbit or beyond, the launching state shall register the space object by means of an entry in an appropriate registry, which it shall maintain. Each launching state shall inform the Secretary General of the United Nations of the establishment of such a registry. This article says that if the U.S. must have had an okay from the U.N., that would make it all right. So Iraqi representatives cannot make the U.S. get rid of their satellites. But Ireland still thinks that there should be no military militarization in space.
there any questions for the dog? What do we do? Do we put the flag down and just like um, run through I the hallway? See, like, Come on, Marsh. <laughs> Look at our list. We've got lists. <laughs> the button. Now you are filming. What are you doing? <laughs> Watching a crazy person <laughs> who doesn't know how to use a camera. And where are you watching this crazy person in? The Forbidden Room. Which is? Crisis Room. Yes. And what crisis is taking place now? I have no idea. <laughs> Look at that. No crisis there. Yeah, the crisis <laughs> all went away. No one to fix the crisis. Look at that. And here we have Lizzie. And what's Lizzie doing? Security Council Resolution. Oh, yes. Not is not it any good? It I haven't looked at it. Well, top two. I'm sure it's top quality work. <laughs> Go away. Mm -hmm. Megan. Stop. Mr. Snyder, hit her. <laughs> I uh, actually can't. <laughs> Lawsuit. I really like the working paper, but there could be a little.
that I'm paused for a second so I can walk through and not get any, you know I'm gonna do it.